Right now, let's bring in a guy who's happier than a pig rolling in a bunch of mud. And that is Mike Kazi. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. No, I'm not. It's only April. I know. I'll wait still, for the Yankees' demise in September. Still, then I'll be know, happy. A, a, a sweep. I figured you'd have you have brooms in front of your house. I kind of expected it. Yeah. Anyway, so the Yankees were swept. Uh, what's next? <laughs> Houston's a good team. The Yankees are hurt. Yeah. Houston's a good team. They made a comeback last night, but then their bullpen folded up again and gave an, an, another run back to Houston in the bottom of the eighth to take them out of the uh, one-run lead, and, and they then they beat the Yankees again last night. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the Yankees, did, like I said yesterday, they're, they're really exposing themselves as being fundamentally unsound. You got guys flipping around in the outfield, rolling on the ground, trying to catch balls, and making errors in the infield. And you you can't play major league baseball that way. Um, when when runs a bunch of runs you score cover up your sins, you're good. But when you have to make plays to contend, and that's what the Yankees need to do now because they're short players, they're t- they're having a hard time doing it. So their exposure for being fundamentally unsound as they have been is just exposed even more. And the Yankees just have to be lucky that that little guy that wears number 27 for Houston doesn't play them that much because he owns them. He had four home runs against them this week. Yeah, unbelievable. He's a, he's a hell of a player. He, 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 what a little package of muscle. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he, he's a player. And uh, Houston looks alive and well this year. Um, the Mets last night... Syndergaard looked alive and well, pitched seven innings, um, gave up a couple of runs late, um, seven strikeouts, no walks, and then the bullpen struggled late again. Um, the, Yank- the Mets wound up to hold on against the Twins yesterday, 9-6. So uh, a good outing by Syndergaard, but he ran out of gas in the seventh inning, the seventh into the eighth inning. Um, in hockey, real nice game last night between the Islanders and Pittsburgh. The Islanders scored within the first minute. Um, had the goal disallowed because of an offside that was reviewed and, and brought to, to the forefront, when, and it was a good call. Um, but it was a really, really good game. Um, going at each other all night, wound up going into overtime, and the Islanders come up out top 4-3. So um, that's going to be a good series. And a very big surprise last night in Tampa Bay, um, the Blue Jackets came back to beat Tampa Bay last night 4-3. So uh, Tampa Bay went out to an early 3 nothing lead in the first period and w- was goose-egged for the rest of the game. Uh, Columbus scored one in the second, three in the third to take a 4-3 lead, and they held on and win. So that was a big, big win for Columbus last night. Tampa Bay, like I said, 128 points during the regular season. Columbus only had t- 98 points. That's a 30-point difference, but... It's a different season in the playoffs. Everything goes out the window, and Columbus has a one nothing lead on Tampa. All right. Uh, hey, in, in football, the Giants uh, signed uh, uh, Sterling, uh, their tight end, who is actually got going to be a good prospect uh, to a four-year package uh, worth $28 million guaranteed, $40 million. So, a lot that. for a guy I never heard of. Oh, that's, well, you never heard of him because you don't watch football. <laughs> that's true. He, but I've heard of Gronkowski. Well, Gronkowski is a proven tight end. This is a, this is guy's only in his in his second year. And he and, got how much? Uh, ten million. Just ten million dollars a year. That's peanuts in the NFL. Unbelievable. That's ten million dollars a year for an unproven second year player. Yeah, yeah, peanuts in the NFL. I mean, good. the worst league for paying is basketball. They're, they're the most exorbitant salaries. Uh, football's, uh, baseball's next, and then you've got. Uh, Considerably after that, football. I think football's next. They make a lot of money. You got to remember, baseball plays 162 games. Football plays a tenth of it. Yeah, but <laughs> a tenth, a tenth, and a running clock, and each play lasts about five seconds. Yeah. You have made your point in the court of understanding, Mike Kazi. Thank you. I. Uh... I fold, and I, I will put the NFL there this is the, the, the second. I'm yeah. not saying baseball players aren't overpaid, but I just think if you, if you pan it out 
over over a sixteen game season, football players are, are right up there with basketball players. Everybody in sports and entertainment is overpaid. True. It's just the way it is. True. And uh, if Except they were pa- in hockey, I, if they were paid by performance, were every year like I like, agree, they uh, should be like movie stars. Yeah, you're gonna. They've got five great movies in a row, and you pay them really high for the sixth one. It could be a stinker, but they do get paid. Uh, in, in when you're a movie star. Uh, if you have if you have a string of great movies, you get great money. Uh, the minute you have your first clunker, though, guess what? You don't get that money anymore in the movies. I don't support those people either. The last movie I saw was Perfect Storm. You know when that was? <laughs> it's a long time ago. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. What else are we going to talk about in sports? Anything at all? Um, not just that the baseball season's intact and. It's it's going along, and you got to just see how it plays out. Basketball, I think their playoffs start sometime soon, and and I think just before Labor Day, so that's coming up. And uh, I'm just glad to see hockey again. I haven't watched much hockey this year, but I will definitely watch the playoffs. Um, on a horse race in front, we got the last three year old prep Saturday at Oaklawn. The Arkansas Derby's being run, and. Good luck picking a derby winner this year. <laughs> That's right. Now, uh, yeah, it's it's funny. Am is just kind of, I got a bowl here that's just got leftover corn flakes and. Am Give the is, cat some milk. The dog, no, yeah, it's all I eat with these guys. Uh, and now it completely slipped my mind what I was going to talk about. That's the terrible thing about being sixty-six. I had something I was going to talk to you about, but the, the Tiger Woods demise. No, he hasn't started yet. It starts today. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? It's gone. It's gone. It's terrible. I don't Sorry. Know. It'll come back. I'll ask you tomorrow about it. <laughs> Write it down. Write it down. All right. Yeah, sure. All right. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye. Mike Gazi with a check on sports this morning.